North Carolina Women Business Owners Hall of Fame was created to honor North Carolina's most successful female entrepreneurs and advocates, individuals who have made significant and enduring contributions to impact women's entrepreneurial development in North Carolina. With the launch of the NC Women Business Owners Hall of Fame, we are honored to celebrate its inaugural class with the recognition of the following 11 women. Leah Brown founded A10 Clinical Solutions after 20 years in the healthcare and regulatory compliance industry, following the loss of her dear uncle to HIV AIDS, feeling she had to do something critical and innovative to help heal the world. A10 Clinical Solutions works to bring innovative drugs and healthcare improvements to the market faster and has been recognized by Fortune Magazine, Inc. Magazine, and many more. Leah is also the co-founder of the nonprofit Diversity Alliance for Science, which has partnered with more than 575 companies, hosted 15 events, and has boasted 250 members. She also volunteers her time on the boards of women, entrepreneurial, and public policy organizations, and for health initiatives like the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women. Mary Cantando built three North Carolina businesses over the past 30 years, PDR Information Services, ePublishing Corporation, and The Women's Advantage. These businesses have employed over 400 employees. She also founded the Women Presidents Organization in North Carolina in 2002, personally launching chapters in Raleigh, Charlotte, and Greensboro. She served on the boards for women and education focused organizations and has been recognized by organizations across the state for her work as an entrepreneur and as a woman in business. Mary also serves as an envoy of the U.S. State Department, helping women in developing countries start and grow micro businesses. She has written several books for women about how to start and grow businesses and has been featured in the Wall Street Journal, Oprah's O Magazine, Entrepreneur Magazine, and on hundreds of TV and radio shows. Mary continues to be an award-winning business owner, a sought-after speaker and university lecturer, and international advocate for women entrepreneurs. Mildred Council, better known as Mama Dip, started and owned the famous restaurant Mama Dips. She opened the restaurant in 1976 with $64, 40 for food, and 24 to make change. The morning's profits were used to fund lunch and the lunch profits to fund dinner. At the end of the day, Mama Dip took home $135. The granddaughter of a slave, Mildred lived an incredible life. She ran a successful restaurant, wrote two noteworthy books, and was featured by Good Morning America, The Food Network, Rachel Ray, and The New York Times. Mildred was also known for her love of her community and for her passion for education-focused organizations like Head Start. Mildred was also an example for her granddaughter, who's now an entrepreneur in her own right, as the owner of the well-known Chapel Hill dessert caterer, Tanya's Cookies. Linda Craft is the CEO of Craft Residential and Craft Commercial and the founder of Linda Craft and Team Realtors. For over 30 years, she's led a team that has sold over $2 billion in real estate and her company was recognized as a Triangle Business Journal Best Place to Work. Linda was one of the three women to bring Athena Powerlink to the Triangle. She served on their board, advisory council, and leadership committee, and as part of the program, has mentored women business owners, helping them grow their net revenues to more than 20% in 12 months. Linda is also on the board of directors for American Red Cross, serves as the annual ball chair, and is a member of the Tiffany Circle, her company has helped over 70 charities and is known for offering free use of its moving truck to charity. Linda was the recipient of the Humanitarian Award in 2016 and the White House's President's Volunteer Service Award in 2018. Dale Halton's grandfather founded a Pepsi bottling company in Charlotte in 1905 and it flourished. Neither she nor anyone else intended for her to work there, but in the 1970s, the family business pulled her in to oversee the company's advertising. Then, in 1981, the business struggled, and Dale was put in charge. While Dale had no formal training in business, she has said that she had two things going for her, organization 
and common sense. The company gradually turned around, and once it was profitable, Dale focused on creating benefits for its employees. In her 20 years as the head of Pepsi Bottling Company of Charlotte, and every day since selling the company, Dale has supported college athletics, the NC Dance Theater, the American Red Cross, and many other charitable endeavors. She's been recognized as an award-winning woman in business, and buildings at UNC Charlotte, the John Crossland School, and more now bear her name. Janice Bryant Howrod was the first African-American woman to create and run a billion-dollar business. She launched Act One in 1978 with $600 of her own money and a $900 loan from her mother. Today, Act One operates as the Act One Group, which operates in 22 countries with more than 17,000 clients, 2,800 employees, and 1.1 billion in net sales. Today, through scholarship funding and personal service, Janice supports universities like Harvard University and her own alma mater, North Carolina A&T. She supports women's organizations like WBENC and WPO and minority-serving organizations like the Urban League. In 2016, she was appointed by then-President Barack Obama to serve as a member of his Board of Advisors on Historically Black Colleges and Universities, and CNBC named her fourth of 14 black women who changed business and finance, placing her ahead of Oprah Winfrey and Michelle Obama. Elizabeth Nisbet Miller is known for supporting women business owners. She was nominated for the Charlotte Business Journal's Women in Business Achievement Award as a result of her participation in First Trust Bank in 1999. That same year, as president of the Charlotte Women Business Owners Association, Elizabeth raised the visibility of that organization by guiding its conversion into a chapter of the National Association of Women Business Owners. She encouraged the local partnership with First Union National Bank, now Wells Fargo, to expand and to establish a $10 billion loan program to East Coast NABO members. From 2001 to 2016, Elizabeth was a site inspector for the National Women Business Owners Corporation, where her efforts resulted in more than 80 women business enterprises being certified throughout North and South Carolina. In addition to her corporate work, she has worked on advancement and planning with nonprofits, trade and professional associations, civic initiatives, and cultural and educational institutions. After 20 years in marketing, Sheila Ogle founded Media Research Planning and Placement Incorporated, or MRPP. She was later the first woman ever inducted into the UNC Advertising Hall of Fame. Sheila is best known as the owner and operator of the Cary event spot, The Matthews House, which she sold. Along with four other partners, Sheila also started Integrated Clinical Trial Services, which she sold in 2010. In 2012, she was instrumental in starting the Cary Innovation Center, a business incubator focusing on Main Street business, which is located in Cary downtown. And recently, with another partner, she started Cary Coworking. She is also a founding member of the Cary Community Foundation and Cary's Women's Giving Network. And she's the owner and rehabilitator of what's often called the Pink House. She's been named the NC Delegate at the White House Conference on Small Business and the SBA NC Small Business Person of the Year. The Great Recession hit America hard, but as a financial town, Charlotte was hit really hard. Still, it was in the midst of that in December of 2010 that Dan Rosselli and Sarah Garces Rosselli made a decision to bet on Charlotte and its potential as an entrepreneurial community. They bought an old, soon-to-be-torn-down office building uptown and founded Packard Place, one of the first major entrepreneurial complexes outside of NYC and San Francisco. Today, Packard Place is one of the 10 largest tech and entrepreneurship centers in the country. Packard Place has housed hundreds of Charlotte startup companies and hosted thousands of startup events. Sarah is bilingual, bicultural, and of Colombian descent. She serves on several nonprofit boards and currently chairs the Board of Goodwill of the Southern Piedmont, helping people change lives through the power of work. She is a fierce advocate for children's initiatives and a mentor to entrepreneurs and young leaders. 
In 1995, at a time when women, and especially black women, were not seen in the construction industry, Gloria Shiwi started her company in Chicago. She came from a successful 10-year career in a major money center bank where she learned about the construction industry. When most minority firms were subcontractors, Gloria entered the market as a general contractor and changed the face of construction management at risk. She relocated her company to North Carolina in 2006. Her company is the only black female-owned GC who operates as a strategic partner with large firms on major projects. She's received many awards recognizing her success as a minority female in her industry, but she's also received awards recognizing her business success, which stands on its own. She has performed as a partner and directly on more than 560 million in completed projects. Gloria was and remains the first and only woman president of the National Association of Minority Contractors in its 49 year history when she served from 2012 to 2015. Elaine Marshall is North Carolina's Secretary of State. She made history by being the first woman elected to statewide executive office in 1996. As Secretary of State, Elaine has received international recognition for her efforts to protect copyrights and deter counterfeit goods. Elaine has also kept North Carolina up to date with improved information technology, making information available to businesses, investors, and individuals. Her efforts have made North Carolina one of the most affordable places in the United States to do business. In another career, Elaine was an entrepreneur herself, and she's known for helping to cut the costs of doing business for companies and individuals, helping small businesses create jobs in North Carolina. Meredith College recognized her in 2017 with their Woman of Achievement Award. She is recognized in the North Carolina Women Business Owners Hall of Fame with an Advocacy Award. Music